Hey everyone, happy Monday chat day. I'm so glad to see y'all and make a video for you. And uh, I've been working on baby blankets. As you, most of you know, I'm getting a new great grandchild. So if it's a boy, it's getting this one. If it's a girl, which that's what she wants. She wants to have a girl. I've got a really, really nice one here going so far. So that's that. Yeah, she really wants to have a girl. And uh, I just wanted to tell you about some of the... Uh, uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing lately. Um, I had a half a ca uh, half a green cabbage and half of a red cabbage and some red onion and I sliced that up real thin and I made like a vinegar solution with a little bit of sugar and some salt and uh, regular white vinegar, and I poured over that. Well, I canned some uh, cabbage slaw, and I had some with these chicken strips I made yesterday, uh, earlier, and it is really good. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself because I've never made that before. But this is gonna be a huge year for canning. And um, I like, you know, we have stuff in the freezer, but I rather have stuff in jars because it'll last a lot longer. And uh, if the electricity goes out, you know, you'll have to, everything in the freezer is gonna have to be cooked up and canned as fast as you can. So that's kind of what I'm working on, getting things from the freezer or the vegetable bin, you know, where I have a little too much and just get it made up and canned. So I can add that. Well, I had six jars, two uh, of the big jars and uh, four of the little jars. And uh, one of the little jars, when I, you know, it finished water bathing and I looked in to bring it out. One of them was tipped over with the lid off. So I just uh, frogged that one. <laughs> Had to get rid of it and, uh, excuse me, um, the chickens will like that. So, but anyway, I tried one of them and it was really tasty. I kind of, I forget where I saw that somebody was making it on a YouTube video. And I thought, well, I could do that. That's simple. <laughs> so that's what I did. And uh, I also got a package today. And, you know, I don't have any information on it or, you know, who it came from or anything like that. But I'm going to open it and show y'all. This is the package. I don't know what you can see of that. But I'm going to open it now. And uh, I know I didn't order it. So. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got some pillow, a pillow. And, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't believe this. I mean, I can't hardly believe this. 
It's a two-step pasta maker. It's a microwave pasta bowl. Isn't that neat? Oh, I just love that. And, you know, since I, excuse me, since uh, it's just my husband and myself and Trixie, you know, we don't eat a whole lot. So that'll be perfect. Straight from the microwave, it says. <laughs> Hang on, let me get Trixie. Hello, big girl. Yes, my baby girl. Yes. Oh, she, ooh, she tried to get me. <laughs> Trixie. Well, she is being tender. We, uh, whenever we had her, uh, either her front or her back dude claws removed years ago because they were just like flopping there. <coughs> but now her other dude claws, they're trying to grow into the skin because they're real curly. And we had to, uh, I probably already mentioned this, but we had to uh, trim her dew claws, and I think it left her foot sore. So, yeah, she's not happy right now. Sorry. <laughs> she's She's got a bad temper. If you touch something that uh, hurts her or whatever, you will get bit. So, anyway, um, yeah, I've just been, like, cooking every now and then. I find something I, you know, have too much of, and I, uh, like the chicken. I have a lot of chicken breasts in the freezer, like little two-packs, and uh, I just, one day, I thawed them all out, I trimmed a little bit of, you know, nasty stuff. I trimmed that off. And then I just cut it in strips and just fed it through the uh, meat grinder. And it makes wonderful ground meat. I mean, you can just use it any number of ways. Spaghetti, any way you can use um, ground beef, you can use ground chicken. I also ground up some pork. And we don't like our meat real with a lot of fat, so I trim a lot of that off. And, uh, you know, you would think, you know, because you trim all the fat off, it's not going to be tender. But I put breadcrumbs, an egg or two, and mix it up. And then I section it off into packages. And if you'll put them in the bag and just put them flat, you know, uh, squeeze it down, fold the bag over, and then zip it. And if you'll freeze them in that flat state, when you do go to um, unthaw them, it takes no time at all. So, you know, that's another good tip. I'm full of tips and tricks today, but uh, yeah, and we went out and we just had some geese hatch and oh my goodness, they're so cute. And then our silkies and these little starlings and uh, another kind of, uh, oh, what is those real little chickens, the not guineas, but they're, um, I can't think of what they're called. But anyway, we have a bunch of those. They just make out real tiny, you know, and, uh, and they're real cute. Some of them I think are called sprites or starlings, something. Anyway, there's like, probably close to a hundred of them all together. And we'll just go in and it's like an aviary that we have them in out in, under the barn. And uh, 
you can go in there and, you know, take a little chair in there and sit down. And they, like, land on you and stuff like that. And they're really sweet. And the silkies are so stinking cute. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one one day or, you know, take you on another walk about and you can see them because, oh my goodness, they're darling. And, uh, yeah, we did that and we walked through the garden and uh, <clears throat> everything's doing wonderful. The tomatoes are getting up big and the peppers and we have some... Uh, cucumbers, different squash, uh, different kind of peppers, and they're all just doing awesome. So here in a few weeks, hopefully we'll be bearing some fruits, vegetables. And then I tell you when all that stuff comes about, it's gonna be some serious preservation days coming up. And, you know, maybe I can bring you along on one of those preservation days, at least for part of it. And uh, y'all can see what goes on. But I have uh, many different interests, like the crocheting. That's always been pretty big with me. I mean, I did let it go for a long time and, you know, if I get frustrated sometimes, I'll, I'll just stop something and then go back to it later when I can come back to it with a fresh mind. So, <clears throat> but otherwise I feel good. Um, I'm clearing up, I'm feeling so much better. I've been taking walks outside. Um, we went somewhere. Let's see. He took me somewhere. Hmm. What was it? I can't remember, but we went. Yeah, we went and saw Heather and Nick and her uh, mate. And, uh, well, she was working, but she's been really sick. And they fired her. Is she sick too much? I mean, she was sick at work too, so. But I think it, in a way it's a good thing because she's so sick, she needs to stay at home <laughs> and start feeling better. But uh, yeah, she's looking for another job. And so everything's going pretty good with her, I think. You know, she's got that anxiety real bad. And then being sick, she starts having anxiety about, well, what if something really bad's wrong with me? And, you know, you can tell them over and over, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. But it's inside their head. And so that's something she has to deal with. So, but, yeah, we're as close as ever. I love her she was my own daughter because you know over the years we have had to take her and keep her for you know long periods of time and uh, she looks at me like a mother too so I mean she knows she's got her own mother and she loves her but uh, yeah, we just, you know how sometimes two people just click. Well, that's her and I. <laughs> we just click. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope y'all had a fantastic Monday. I sure am glad Monday's here because the weekends are kind of now lonesome. i rather, much rather, uh it'd be during the weekdays, so, well, I probably won't keep gabbing on too long, <laughs> but, uh, y'all let me know what kind of things you did over the weekend, I'm, you know, this can't be just one-sided, y'all got to get on and
tell me what's going on with you. <laughs> I love y'all. And, uh, you know, if, if you want to give me a thumbs up, if you like my videos, please do. <laughs> and uh, if you want to leave me a comment, uh, I love them. So leave those comments. And if you're subscribed, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, come on. It doesn't cost anything, does it? Okay. Um, and if you want to subscribe to me and you want me to subscribe to you, just let me know. I will. Okay, friends. Have a great week. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.